The Trace X Explosives Kit is an easy to use, rugged, and low cost solution for detecting explosive materials and their precursors. In this training program, we will cover how to use the Trace X Explosives Kit, as well as practical applications and features of the kit to ensure that you are confident in understanding its benefits and limitations. We also recommend that you read the operating instructions, which are included with each box prior to use. The Trace X Explosives Kit detects homemade explosive materials, commonly called HMEs, and their precursors. Morphix Technologies developed the Trace X under contract from the U.S. Department of Defense, and Trace X meets their demanding requirements. It can be used by every warfighter, law enforcement officer, or intelligence official, and does not require special training. The Trace X Explosives Kit tests for these nine common families of explosive materials and their precursors with only one swab. A version of the chart shown here is also included as part of the operating instructions included with each box. In addition to containing all chemicals, the Rugged Trace X protects the kit from accidental crushing of the ampules. No additional packaging is required to carry the Trace X kit. Also, the Trace X kit is designed to minimize the potential for sample contamination. One common source of contamination is gunshot residue on the user's hands if the user recently fired a gun. With other kits, the user touches the wipe while conducting a swab. As a result, if the user's hand is contaminated, the sample will likely be contaminated. The Trace X collector, on the other hand, has a built-in cover which protects the kit from contamination from the user or from the environment. The user does not need clean hands or gloves to use the Trace X kit. Other field kits require multiple swabs and a series of tests to detect all nine of the chemical families detected by Tracex. The user then has to interpret the results from each of these tests. With the Tracex kit, the results are easy to read on top of the kit. Any color change is an indication that an explosive chemical or a precursor is present. With Tracex, a single swab gives a clear indication of the presence of explosive materials. Other field kits have significant safety concerns some require a heat source, not a good idea when explosive materials are present. With some kits, the user is potentially exposed to the chemical reagents when crushing ampules or using a chemical dropper. The Tracex Explosives Kit does not require a heat source and is self-contained to avoid exposure to dangerous chemicals. The Tracex Explosives Kit is designed for the real world. The Tracex Kit includes a rugged case that contains everything required to test for nine HME or precursor families. Inside the kit, you will find the collector with its handle, you will see the self-contained testing ampules, and you will find the crusher on the inside of the lid. Results of the test will be shown in the kit window. To use the Trace X Explosives Kit, please follow the 10 steps that are about to be described. These same 10 steps are described in the operating instructions provided with each box. The 10 steps are also summarized in a quick card, which is attached to each kit for easy reference. Do not use the Trace X beyond the printed expiration date. Step 1. Remove the kit from the bag. Open the case by gently pulling the latches forward and lifting the lid. Press down on the green dots to crush the wetting ampules. Then, wait 10 seconds. Step 2. Press down and immediately release the collector to moisten the collector plugs. By moistening the plugs, the kit has increased collection efficiency. Step 3. Lift the handle to remove the collector from the kit. Note the cover on the top of the collector which keeps debris from the user's hands or the environment from contaminating the sample. Do not touch the bottom of the collector to avoid contamination. Step 4. Evaluate the surface to decide the most effective sample collection technique. If the suspect surface is rough, such as rough concrete or a cinder block, dab or pat the collector multiple times on the surface. While the collector is made of rugged materials, repeatedly rubbing the collector on a rough surface might damage the collector plugs. So, instead of rubbing or swabbing, dab the collector on rough surfaces. If there is clearly visible powder, also known as bulk powder, then gently dab or pat the collector onto the powder two or three times. The kit is very sensitive, so it only takes a little powder for the Tracex kit to work and too much powder could clog the kit. So if you can clearly see the powder, simply dab the collector onto the powder two or three times. If the suspect surface is smooth with no visible powder or powder that is barely visible, then thoroughly swab the surface for 10 to 20 seconds. We recommend using a figure eight pattern when swabbing. Step five, holding the collector, align the red pointers on the collector and the crusher and snap the collector into the crusher on the lid of the case. Release the handle. Step 6. 
push the black ribs on the crusher to rotate the red arrow on the crusher away from store and towards crush. The red arrow on the collector is now pointing straight up, while the red arrow on the crusher is pointing toward crush. Step 7. Detach the handle and cover from the collector by pulling the handle sideways. The crusher and collector body stay in place while the handle and cover are removed. Dispose of the handle and cover. Step 8. Close the kit and make sure the latches are secure. Hold the kit firmly in both hands and use your thumbs to forcefully press the lid in all four areas marked press here to crush all of the chemical ampules in the kit. You may find it convenient to press two at a time as shown. You only need to press each press here symbol once, but be sure to press forcefully. Since chemicals are now moving through the kit, do not reopen the kit. Step 9. Gently shake the kit for two seconds. Then, lay the kit flat for three minutes, five minutes in cold temperatures, to allow for colors to form in the window if an explosive or precursor is detected. Step 10. View the kit window for any color changes. If an explosive material is detected, the corresponding indicator pad will change color. For example, this kit shows nitrates being detected. Note that you see color in the nitrates pad, but no other pad shows color. The kit label provides representative colors for each explosive material. Disregard changes to results after 10 minutes and dispose of the kit. Since there are chemicals inside the kit, do not reuse, reopen, or repurpose the kit. When the kit is operated, all pads will show a slight wetting effect, causing the pads to change from white to off-white or light gray. This wetting effect is normal and does not indicate the presence of an explosive. Here you will see the wetting effect starting in a few pads. It can take up to three minutes for the wetting effect to be visible on all pads. Now let's take a look at some sample results. Here is a kit that has detected HMTD and another kit that has detected HMX. In each case, note the color changes in the applicable pad. There are times when the user will see more than one pad change color. This can occur when mixtures are detected, contamination is present, or for other reasons. We've provided a few of the most common examples here. When urea nitrate is sampled, the nitrates pad will show color, and the acid pad is likely to also show color. This may allow the user to differentiate between urea nitrate and other nitrates, such as ammonium nitrate, which will only show color on the nitrates pad. Nitroaromatic materials such as TNT, DNT, and tetral will show a color change in the applicable pad as expected. However, they may also result in a color change in the nitramine slash nitrate ester pad marked HMX, RDX, EGDN, and PETN. So if you see a color in both pads, a nitroaromatic material such as TNT, DNT, or tetral is present, but a nitramine or nitrate ester may not be. Chlorates or bromates will show a yellow color in the chlorate slash bromates pad as expected, However, when sampled at a bulk level, they can also cause a browning effect in the pads marked nitrates, or HMX, RDX, EGDN, PETN, or a yellow color in the HMTD, TATP indication pad. This browning or yellowing effect is not necessarily indicative of the presence of a chemical other than a chlorate or a bromate. If the user samples a highly colored material, it will likely cause all of the pads to show that color. For instance, here is how a kit would look after the user has sampled cumin powder. It is highly unlikely that an explosive or precursor would cause a color change on all indication pads. So if you see the same color on all indication pads after sampling a colored material, it is highly probable that an explosive or precursor was not detected. However, if an explosive material is also present with the colored material, the user will often be able to see a different color in the appropriate pad. For instance, if both aluminum powder and chlorates are present, all indication pads may show gray from the aluminum powder, while the chlorate slash bromates pad will show yellow with gray. While some dirt will be filtered by the kit design, a very dirty sample may show a brown-gray color in all of the pads. However, if an explosive material is also present, the user will generally be able to see a color change in the appropriate pad. For instance, if the user swabs a dirty surface that also contains TNT, all indication pads may show brown-gray, while the pad marked TNT, DNT, and tetral will show purple with brown-gray. Information about these real-world examples, along with other information you may find useful, is available in the TraceX Explosives Kit User Guide. The TraceX Explosives Kit 
has a shelf life of 24 months when stored at room temperature, which is roughly 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Short-term excursions up to 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit are acceptable. The kit is designed for use at an operating temperature range between 2 and 50 degrees Celsius or 35 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit and an operating humidity range between 10 and 95 percent RH or relative humidity. The TraceX kit is designed to detect both trace levels and bulk levels of explosive materials. Remember to use the appropriate sample collection technique as previously described in Step 4. While the TraceX Explosives Kit is designed to keep all chemicals within its plastic enclosures, human contact with kit chemicals is possible. Do not disassemble kit, reopen kit after use, or ingest any chemicals contained in the kit. If chemicals contact skin or eyes, wash with water and seek medical attention. The kit uses ampules containing low volumes of solutions which may contain strong mineral acids or bases. Dispose of the kit following applicable regulations and your organization's disposal policy. Use of the TraceX is subject to the terms and conditions of use and any warnings printed on the operating instructions. If you have any questions or would like any more information, contact a Morphix customer service representative. The TraceX Explosives Kit detects the most common homemade explosive materials and their precursors in a single test.